Hello everybody and welcome to another AFK journey video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I dominate battle drills for my guild. Uh, I'm going to show you three comps that I use. Uh, one, kind of really bad, but one uh, really good and then one absolutely insane. Alright, you're going to want to see this. I'm going to put in my favorite team first um, because I, I just think it's so broken. Uh, where is it? And CCS. Yeah. Okay, so Iron will grow we'll group them up and then the flowers will drop and Cecia's uh menu will drop i have rowan here to make sure that they all get their abilities because this you know this run is very much based on abilities i use the star uh star shard spell because every you know every amount of ultimates that they use uh a big wave of damage goes out um and then i have granny danny in here just because granny danny is a very good tank is Granny Danny being able to, you know, root them all whenever they're uh, grouped up is also extremely good. And her energy requirement for her alt is definitely a lot less. Okay, the group up with all the fire with all the flower damage. And they also group up in Granny Danny's alt when that happens as well. Insane. And, and Zombie Man, I can't remember his name at this moment, is just AoE hitting their entire team. This is an insane comp. Inse Look at the damage on the flower. I'm going to show you guys at the end of this just how much damage each character did and why every character is very vital to the success of this comp and just how completely, completely broken this comp actually is. Um, not for the single target bosses in battle drills, but definitely for the group target ones. It's like, look at this. Every time Iron groups them up, Orisa will do the, do the flowers. It's insane. 72.9 million damage. Million. That is the most damage I have ever done. And look at this. 44 million of it is Parisa. 44 million of it and then uh ccl has like 10 million that's not a lot obviously but it's mostly iron even though he isn't dealing the most damage he isn't you know he's, he's dealing the third worst damage of my dps's but the great thing about iron is that he's the one who's grouping them up who's allowing for this 44 million damage to happen parisa is so crazy insane with him as a character now what's really good is once I run comps like this, if I run my OD comp next, you'll watch how he puts the execute on these dudes because they're, you know, they're getting low HP and his execute will actually be what kills them individually. It's really insane. I might actually kill one or two of them individually here in this battle just because I'm going to deal so much damage. I'm telling you guys, this is ridiculous. Use this strategy 100%. If you have this comp, use this strategy for your guild's battle drills. It is nuts. It is absolutely freakish. It is by far the most broken combo I have found. And like any kind of AoE fight, Iron and uh, Parisa are going to be an insane combo. In the wild, in the wilder tower, these two do work. Another sixty-nine point nine nine one million damage. Crazy, right? Now the final thing that I want to show you guys is we're going to use our OD comp next, and that is going to show you guys the power of OD. Odi is hopefully going to get a few executes in here because they're already kind of low. So if that happens, which hopefully it does, uh, you will be amazed. You will be flabbergasted. Okay. So uh, we're going to use the, not this, um, we're going to use the attack speed spell and make sure Odi gets it. Uh, bottom right is who gets the attack speed. If you both have units right in the back. All right, do you see that unit that's really, really, really low HP in the front with Odie's Execute on him? Yeah, 
uh, this character is about to die. So once you use your AoE comp, you start putting in these characters, and these characters will do work. Uh, mostly OD. Vala, you can, you know, sub her out with other characters. Okay, there we go. There's the execute on that one. Now the execute, you know, it seems like it's really small. The bar is really low, but it does actually, you know, execute them from a decent amount. It's like, obviously, like, these are low bars, but there's a lot of HP behind those bars. So when that execute comes through, it's thousands and thousands and thousands of damage. It's crazy. I don't know if we're going to get another execute in this one. But hopefully we will in the next one. We kind of let it play out. Looks like we're going to reach about 55 million damage here. 56. Okay. So we did get one. We did get one execute. Um, I think the downside is that maybe they're not low. Just low enough. But it's okay. We're going to do it again. We're going to run it again. Uh, who's fighting who? Nah, who, who on my team is fighting here? Okay, I think what I'm gonna do... Okay. I want them to attack one at a time, since this is basically my sing my my super high damage single target comp. Oh wait, I'm dumb. Bala, I, I should've kept Bala where she was. She was gonna do her job just fine. Honestly, if I put Thorn in that other team, since he uses his ult so much in the AoE team, and it does a big AoE blast, maybe that would have been the actual move. That sounds like it's kind of broken. Maybe I should have done that. Oh well, it's fine. Looks like we'll probably get one other execute. We're going to execute the one on the left here. And then maybe we can chain it. But it doesn't look like we're going to have time to chain it. Looks like it's just going to be the one on the left. Who gets executed. Gone. A ton of damage still. 59,978,000. Yep. 59 million. 59.97 million damage. Really good. We are the heavy hitter of our guild. It is our responsibility to hit heavily. Alright, so hopefully... This is going to put an end to this battle drill, these two builds, uh, these two uh, ones. I'm going to put on the Star Shard spell again, mostly because, I, don't know, I mean, I don't know. I, I could put it on merrily, but I don't know. I think that the minions in here, their, uh, the amount that they use their alt is a pretty decent amount. So I think it's fine to use the Star Shard spell because merrily is an uh, energy amount. Is super low. She's going to use her alt dash around a million different times. Um, and kind of the same thing with Floribel, just not as much. But Merrily is just so, so, so insanely good at utilizing both the attack speed and the star shard spell uh, because she will just jump around every like three seconds using her alt. She will be popping that thing solo like a million times. This is very, very very clearly my worst team uh i don't think i'm gonna be able to end this battle drill but i definitely put in a lot of work for my guild especially if you saw that first comp it is insane okay i recommend that comp to anybody that has the units they will they will deal far and away more damage than you would imagine okay yeah only 18 million honestly that's kind of pathetic for my account i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie kind of pathetic for my account Oh, we're going to go one more time. We're actually going to test out the uh, the Enlightening spell, and we're going to see just how much maybe that would have improved our run if Merrily is sniping really fast. We had 18 million on the last one, right? Let's see if this is more. Looks like we're going at a decent pace, almost 4 million already. Maybe this was the play. Actually, I'm not liking that amount of damage. 
we're, we're almost halfway through the battle, only like 7 million. Looks like this one might be a little worse than our last run. We are so close to beating this thing. It's going to be really unfortunate that we won't be able to, but hey, someone else has to come in and be able to beat these. I'm sure somebody else will. Yeah, yeah okay. So the Star Shard spell, even though Merrily is a high attack speed, really strong marksman, the Star Shard spell is still just better on her because of how often she basically all by herself can proc it. All right, let's go to this. Yeah. Yeah. Far and away the most damage. And then we come down to our last team there that we used. And it's really, really bad. I'm 4 million. And someone who's 750k is beating me pretty decently. Okay. So that comp that I just used at the end there, I know it was, I mean, it's definitely my worst units. It's not really a good combo. Uh, I was just kind of testing the waters with that one. So I definitely, if I were you, not test the waters on that one. Uh, that was obviously not very good. So but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it and have a wonderful day. Peace.